I got this bench for $10. I'm gonna show you how to quickly make it over. We're gonna do just a simple finish, something you can do in an hour in the afternoon, not including dry time. Here is my bench. It was $10, it's got great bones. It's actually already sold, but I just have to take the legs off to ship it. And I'm gonna recover the top. So we've got that unscrewed and I'm gonna paint the base. I have my piece. I've wiped it down and I'm ready to paint it. Whenever I'm gonna paint a bench, I always pick the fabric first. I'm using this from Hobby Lobby. It's like $9.95 a yard. I have one yard of it. And I'm gonna paint DIY's Farm Fresh because this color matches really, really well with that fabric. I think two coats and then we'll be ready to distress. DIY paint is all natural and clay based. It covers really, really well, and you can absolutely do it inside without worrying about fumes. If you wanna pick up this paint, you can buy it at jamierayvintage.com along with my paintbrush, waxes, and pretty much everything you need for your little projects you're working on. Or big projects, I guess. All right, this is what one coat coverage looks like. You can see I've moved it outside because the sun is shining and I'm gonna let it dry and I'll work on the top. So while that first coat is outside drying, I'm gonna be working on upholstery. This is the top. I'm going to remove this piece here because I'm gonna reuse it and I'm gonna leave the fabric on in case the customer wants to take this off in the future because I actually think this is really pretty. So there's really no point in getting rid of it and it's really in good condition. I've sprayed it down with Lysol and let it dry in the sunshine to keep it nice and clean. So, okay, so now we're ready for the staples. This is my favorite handheld stapler. The way that the handle is, is like ergonomically correct. It's not super hard to use. If we can find a link, we'll drop it below. Make sure that you choose the appropriate length of staples. I think these are like five something or other, but like if they're too long, they're gonna go too far. In this project, I guess it wouldn't matter, but if you don't have a lot of like padding, if you use long staples, you'll poke yourself in the bum. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll staple this side, then this side, and then across, and then I'll do the corners. I want you to notice how uneven this is. It's not perfect, so don't make fun of my cut job. Because not even the professionals get it perfect. Pull tight, but not so tight that you're puckering the fabric. That's really important. And if you pick a stripe, be careful. Stripes like to go crooked real fast. Now I want to check to make sure that this looks correct and it does so I can do the corners and add extra staples. You can always add extra staples, but it's harder to take them out. Corners, make sure that you come in on each side and then you just pull this down and you're going to pull it tight, but not pucker it. It's sometimes you can get absolutely no pleats, but I never can. So I just do my best. It fell. Anyways, there's a nice corner. I'll smooth it out and I'll do the other three. I cut off the excess fabric so there wouldn't be any bunching. And this piece underneath I'm gonna reuse. If it's like bunchy or dirty or you need to replace it, you can cover the bottom with leftover fabric or you can go pick up this at your local craft store. I can't remember what they call it, but you just tell them it's like batting for underneath furniture and they'll find it for you. If I can think of the word, I'll have Zeb put the word on the screen so that way you know what to ask for. I'm gonna line up where the screws were before so that way when we screw this back on the bench top, it'll work well. Just 
since it's been working. Top is upside down. Top is done. We're gonna second coat that base. We'll be ready to wax it and screw the top back on. This is one coat. I missed a few spots. You can see it's a little streaky, but the second coat will fix that and then I'll white wax it and it'll cover anything that I missed. Oh, and when DIY paint dries, it dries lighter. So if you're not used to clay-based paint, don't freak out. This is normal. When you're putting your second coat on, be careful. Once you get the paint on, don't overwork it because there's water in this paint and this paint is water activated. So if you push too hard or overwork the paint, you'll pull off the first coat. You don't want to do that. All right, next step, I have a damp rag, and I'll, I guess I'll just bring it close. Oops, I'm bringing the towel too. I have a damp rag, and I'm just wet distressing. So you get it wet, and then you wipe back the paint like that. I'm gonna do that all over, and then once it dries, we'll be ready for wax. Okay, so next step is DIY white wax. You can see this can is very well loved. And the JRV, I think it's the number 20 stencil brush. I'm gonna have Zeb drop the link below and I'm gonna wax the piece. Oh, my hair's frizzy. Anyways, I'm gonna wax this piece and then we'll buff it off and get the top on. This is gonna seal the piece as well. So I'm just gonna let it sit on here a few minutes, wipe it back and buff it tomorrow. Okay, so now that this is sat just a little bit, I'm gonna try to film and wipe. All right, so we're wiping this back. You can see that it's a little bit dark. When it dries, it'll lighten up a little bit. And if it gets a little splotchy, that's okay. That just means that the wax is still drying. As long as you apply it in even first coat, once it's all the way dry, it should be nice and even. If you still get a few splotches, it could be bleed through or you might need some more wax. So just a few pro tips there. Buffed, not buffed. So I brought out the big guns. That's <laughs> where I swoop in at the end and take all the credit for the work. I could probably do it, but you're better, so. You tend to uh, not push hard enough on your drills. Pro tip, don't strip out your drill bits. Just push hard, let the drill do the work. Oh my gosh, you're so good at that. Look at that precision. <laughs> no, it's already pre-drilled and everything for me. Seb's been editing videos. And don't mind the chairs in the background, Adelia's about to mop. All right, we finished the bench. We'll sh remind you, sh we sh sh remind you. We finished it. It's okay. mostly her. I put some screws in at the end. Okay, I refinished it. Zeb screwed the top on. We're gonna remind you what it looked like before and now what it looks like after. If you wanna buy the paint and products we use today, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY.